What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. You could probably already see this large box and by the title, you guys already know what I got. I got another big part reveal. Yes, I finally got Brembo's. So these brakes are significantly bigger than I thought. Out off the car, they're like huge, but even on camera, they look like kind of small. Like, okay, like I think I have a pretty decent sized head, okay? Like, I think I got a big head. Are these big or is it just me? I, I can't, I don't know. Jo I showed Jordan yesterday and in person he was saying like, these things like look huge. I agree. I think they look huge. I'm super excited to see what it's gonna look like on my car should be a super easy install. I might not have the exact tool I need to do the steel braided brake lines. Like I want like a, basically like a six point open end wrench, like a line wrench. And I don't think I have that here. I think it's all at school. So either way, these are definitely going on today. I just don't know if I'm gonna be able to do the steel braided line cause I just want to do it right and not like strip it with like a regular open end wrench. Um, either way, it's a super easy install, really straightforward. I'm gonna go ahead and show you kind of more up close the Brembo's themselves. I got steel braided lines. I also have the rotors. So basically I'm 100% good to go. And uh, the install on these are super easy. It's literally just a bolt on. Um, I'm super stoked to see what it's gonna look like because yesterday I was really upset with my exhaust. That wasn't my exhaust. Uh, but let me know what you guys think of these. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start throwing these on the car. I'll show you a little quick how to, how to do it. There's a bunch of videos on YouTube already. But of course, I'm gonna show you guys how I do it and we'll see how it goes. Yeah. They're pretty sick. All right, so now that I have the wheel off and the caliper all exposed, there's only two bolts holding on the caliper, and then also I'm gonna take off uh, the brake fluid line as well, which is just a 12 mil bolt. The two bolts holding the caliper on to the knuckle itself are 17, I believe. I'm gonna loosen all those guys up, take this completely off, let a little bit of the brake fluid uh, kind of drip into this pan here. I made sure that my brake fluid is at a good level and I'm not trying to starve the master cylinder, which I already checked up there this just a little comparison of the size difference okay it's kind of heavy but I think you get the point okay anyway I'm gonna go ahead get this thing off see what it looks like get this uh, get this rotor off as well and you'll see the size difference and comparison of the STI to the WX now there should be only two more bolts holding on this caliper which I already loosened and it should, should just come right off. Well, pretty easy. As far as the rotor itself, all you really need to do is shock it loose. So that's why I have a hammer here. I'm gonna give a little tap, tap, and it should just come loose. Okay, so now you can really see the actual difference. I don't wanna turn this, I can maybe turn it this way. So I don't want the fluid to keep leaking everywhere, but little guy, big boy, little guy, big boy, you can pretty much see the difference. Finally got this rotor off. I basically had to end up just hitting it uh, kind of on the side and uh, on the side of this as well, just to kind of shock it loose. Um, I actually tapped it across here as well, which obviously I'm not going to use it again, so I didn't really care. So just kind of rotate it, rotate it, hit, hit, hit. Eventually it will come off. Um, and now I got the new rotor put on. I actually kind of want to show you guys the size comparison of this as well. Okay, it's kind of heavy. Give me one second. 
rotor difference. Clearly much bigger. So just for the sake of time and the sake of this video, I tried my best to use not line wrenches and uh, actually get off the hose itself. But I, it slipped once. I don't want to try again. I don't want to mess it up. I'm just going to go ahead and get the line wrenches maybe tomorrow or the next day. The hose itself, it's really self-explanatory how to actually change it if I have. Where's the line? Basically a plug and play. You're going to literally get rid of the rubber. So you're going to, I think it's a size 10. You're going to use the 10 mil line wrench, get this guy off. You're going to probably just hold this one here. Once this guy is off, then you just get rid of the rubber. Obviously this side goes this way. This side right here is going to actually attach to the caliper itself with the banjo bolt and brand new copper washers that are already provided. Honestly, pretty easy. I'm probably just going to end up doing it tomorrow. But just for right now, I want to see what it looks like, see how it fits with the wheels. So I'm going to go ahead, throw this on, throw this on, see what it looks like. So the Brembos are on. Kind of. Let me explain. We got some major explaining to do. So, I don't know what's going on right now. But, from the last video, I just, I can't seem to catch a break. I don't know what's going on, but let me just explain. So, basically the issue that I'm running into right now is my, my brakes are on, but barely. So there's two bolts, remember, that I took off to get from the caliper, uh, apart from the knuckle, right? There's two bolts, they're 17 mil, go straight through, no problem. So STI Brembros should bolt right up to the knuckle itself using those bolts, same pitch, same thread, whatever, right? So I'm going to put the caliper on and the, the bolts themselves, they don't thread in. So I was like, it's kind of weird. I was like, okay, so then I uh, take the caliper off, I put it aside right here, and then I get the bolt and I try to thread it in and it's not threading in. So I was like, it's kind of weird. Maybe it's just like needs to get cleaned up or I don't know. So I started looking at the bolt, started looking at that, started looking at the other caliper. It just looks like the thread is a little bit different on that, on the STI Brembos compared to the Debrex. I have questions. I'm confused. So what I did is I basically called Subaru just to double check to make sure that the the bolts themselves from the WX brakes should fit the STI brakes. So it's the same part number it should fit. So then I start really looking at it and then the threads do look different. It just looks a little bit more coarse um, on the Brembos that I have compared to the stock WX brakes. So now I can't put them on and I just messaged the guy that I bought them from, from the forum, and I let him know, I was like, hey, like, something ain't right here. So I'm hoping I don't have, like, fake Brembos or something. Like, I don't know. Like, I am slightly concerned. I don't know why I just keep getting just super bad luck happening to me. I don't get my exhaust. My Brembos are fake. I'm, I don't know. I'm confused. I'm also kind of pissed off right now because they should just bolt up. Oh, I just can't seem to catch a break. I don't know what's going on. If you guys have any answers for me as far as why my bolts from my stock WX brakes do not work with the STI Brembos, um, I would appreciate it. I really don't even know what to film right now because uh, the brakes, because I can't bolt the brakes on because the bolts don't work. So I don't really know what to do right now. I don't know if I should take these brakes to Subaru and be like, hey, like, can you make sure these are real? Or do I just get, or do I just take the brakes to like a hardware store, figure out what bolts I actually need and then just use those bolts? Or I'm just trying to think if this guy doesn't like message me back um, and he basically just like sold me like not real Brembos. Like, I don't know. I don't want to think like super negative like that. But that's kind of where my mind's going. I don't really know what's going on. <sighs> maybe I'll do like a little walk around of the Brembos and people that actually have STIs that watch the channel. Like maybe you could see something that's different that I don't know. I don't have an STI. I don't really, I didn't really know what to look for. Um, 
But I guess, you know, worst case scenario, maybe they're freak. Like, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I'm slightly upset. I guess I'll do like a little walk around of the caliper itself and kind of show you like why the bolt doesn't go in. Man. I cannot catch a break. I don't know what's going on. This is like, this is messed up. So, here's my issue. These are the, this is the threaded portion that the bolt should go into. And as you can see, from this to this, it does technically fit and line up as far as like distance wise so it does line up in that way but if you look at the threads itself let me see if i could try to zoom in here so if you look at those threads right just remember what that looks like this looks a little bit finer of a pitch to me compared to this over here if you could see that just looks a little bit more coarse on the Brembos compared to that. Am I right? I think. I think I'm right because I mean the bolt goes in there and it doesn't go in there. You can pretty much see the difference, and I don't know why. So I gotta figure it out. Well, they sure do look cool, but I'd much rather them work than. Uh, look good so i'm pretty upset right now i'm not really too sure what i'm gonna do i basically just have to wait it out maybe till this guy replies or tomorrow i'm gonna do some more investigation and kind of figure out what's going on why didn't fit um if you guys have any information on uh if anyone's ever ran into this problem uh go ahead and comment down below but i think it's pretty much all i got i know the last two videos are absolute failures because of parts that apparently just don't work but hopefully i'll have an update in the next video as far as uh what these fake brembos apparently i don't know we'll, f we'll go ahead and figure it out but as always i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm gonna catch you guys on the next one peace out so if you stuck with me till the end of this video even though i probably the last clip i actually ended it uh, but I'm just adding this clip at the end. I did find out what went wrong, or at least I'm like 92% sure that I know what went, what went wrong uh, with the bolts today. So yes, STI Brembos are a direct bolt on for the WRX. Um, everything lines up, it was just a pitch that was different. So I did a bunch of research, even though I called Subaru and then the guy, whoever I talked to, told me the bolts are the same. It doesn't look like they are, as far as uh, kind of shopping around online and also from a forum. On this forum that I found, it says that the bolts for the Brembos are M12 by 1.5, and apparently maybe just my year or whatever brakes that I have right now, um, they use an M12 by 1.25, which is a little bit finer, which is exactly what I was saying earlier. It just looked like uh, the one of the WX was a little bit finer, and the one of the Brembo just looked uh, just a slightly, slightly more coarse, and uh, it looks like that is right. So then I started looking up the bolts, uh, the kind of the difference, and it looks like the bolt will fit in the Brembos, which is the M12 by 1.5. So I don't know why I didn't find this on any other STI Brembo install video. Like no one has brought this point up, so could be some good information. Uh, again, I'm like 90% sure this is true. I, you know, I'm just going off based off this forum, and it does make sense. Um, again, I could be wrong. If someone wants to correct me in the comments down below, maybe these Brembos are still different i don't know uh, but i did find that a little bit interesting that i couldn't find that on any other video no one mentioned that you have to get the sti brembo bolts to actually mount it to the knuckle so there you go that's what you need you need m12 by 1.5 i'm going to subaru tomorrow to get uh proper bolts i'm just going to go to the hardware store and get those i'm gonna get the legit sti ones and uh, i'm going to double check to see if the pitch is actually m12 by 1.5 not 1.25 like the wx uh, make sure everything's good, everything's straight, because it looks like I can even buy the bolts online, and it's saying that the pitch is M12 by 1.5 for the Brembos. So I'm thinking that we are good. I don't think I got screwed over with these brakes. Um, the guy did uh, end up messaging me back, and uh, he actually is the one that found that information for me. So 
just kind of transferring that information uh, from me to you guys. Hopefully it helps you guys out in the future. Anyway, I think I'm going to end the video here. I got to get this video edited. It's like 1030 right now. Um, and I do want to go to sleep, but but I do want to get this video out for you guys. I uh, hope you guys are excited for the Brembo's to get installed. I got to wait probably a couple days to get those bolts in here because I don't think they have them in stock. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video as always. I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.